All right, guys, so I'm going to make a real quick video on how to spot a fake and a genuine uh, GM 3 bar map sensor. It's even more difficult to tell the difference because the uh, current uh, OE or GM 3 bar map sensors are actually made in China, just just like the knockoff version. So it's, it's going to be a little bit more challenging to actually tell the difference. But I have one of each here, and I'm going to show you all some very subtle differences that I noticed and to hopefully help you all distinguish the authentic from the fake. So, what we have here on the left, this is a replica unit bought off of eBay. Uh, it actually says, uh, what is this? Global sales, there's the part number of the of the three bar map sensor, one, two, 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 five, eight, six, one, which is the correct part number. And just from first glance, it looks authentic. You know, it's it's just a basically a plastic block, you know, but uh, okay, so here is the replica and here is the authentic side by side. Just looking at it like that, they look they look identical. And uh okay, what what really threw me off is if you look at the front of the authentic, there's actually a sticker made in China. That's not very uh, convincing that this is an authentic unit, but uh, let me show you some reasons why I believe it is. Well, this was purchased off of uh, GM Parts Direct, and they are a very, uh, very reputable, reputable GM dealer. They sell authentic, uh, you know, GM parts, and they have never let me down. And I trust that this is, you know, a genuine GM three bar map sensor. Okay, so now let's get to the subtle differences. The first thing I noticed side to side is that the replica version has one slot here. The authentic has one, two, two slots. And also the pin, uh, oh, it's upside down, but ABC, you know, it looks different. It's uh, stamped differently in the plastic. All right, so that's one, uh, one subtle difference. Also, the way the body is actually kind of like riveted to the uh, to the plate here. These, this is what I'm talking about right here. So just a solid piece and the authentic has a little tiny hole. They might be like plastic rivets. I'm not quite sure what these are, but these are very different. The authentic has a little hole in the center. Um, what other subtle difference? On the replica, you can see uh, glue like a white glue substance at the edges here, keeping the the kind of the plate to the body. You can actually see it in there, like it's sandwiched in there. And on the authentic, you don't see anything. There's no residue, no glue. There's nothing in there. It's just a dirt or something. Okay, so from the from the back side, that's the obvious differences that I came across. And from the front, um, okay. On the replica here, it has a seam on the front of it as well. Uh, so I guess it's got a, a back and a front face kind of uh, pressed into the body or glued or adhered to this uh, map sensor body here. It does have a seam here and glue is visible. Okay, and then on the authentic, there is no seam. It's just one solid map sensor body the only face is on the back so seam on the back nothing on this side so that's one major difference if you see a map sensor that has a seam on the front and the back or vice versa back and front i don't know which is which whatever uh most likely it is a replica okay and um on the replica this little uh, connector tab is a little bit too far back the authentic is actually sitting on the edge and that does actually create an issue with the connector uh, it doesn't want to connect to the replica and it probably will connect a lot easier to the genuine but let me show you uh, another issue I'm having just another subtle difference okay um, so in the replica version this is the plug and it goes in you know nice and smooth well, it doesn't actually, it has trouble clicking into that top tab I was talking about because it is sitting too far back on the plug. It needs to be on the edge like the authentic version is. 
so it doesn't actually like click on there because that this tabs just in the wrong spot um, okay but in here there are no uh, I'm not sure what you would call them like alignment uh, like, uh, let me, let me, let me show y'all. Like, on this connector here, there's a slot cut open, okay? And if there's a, a slot inside, you know, it lines up. It can only plug in one way. There's an opening here, opening here. But it, that doesn't matter because on the replica, it, there's, there's nothing in here stopping it from being plugged in. It just goes in and plugs in. But, on the authentic, there's actually little tabs in here, okay? There's one here on the bottom. On this this one's on the side this one is this one does not have one so this one has no tab this one has one on the bottom this one has one on the side so it's actually stopping this connector from plugging in I might have to actually slot the side to allow it to actually slide in so the replica connector does not plug into the authentic GM3 bar I need to modify this pigtail to be able to slide in to these uh, little tabs they have here just to kind of align it and just make sure the plug goes in one way I believe that's why they do that on those uh, connectors there so those are the major differences that I noticed uh, like at first at first glance there might be more but that's just uh, what I came across so far so hope this helps you all uh, find an uh, authentic map sensor. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.